Oh, we're going to talk about the birth of guilds. First off, they developed around the 11th century, and the agricultural revolution led to an increase in better food supply and subsequent population rise. In addition to that, crusaders brought back spices and other luxuries from the Middle East, and people began leaving with the stability that came about because of the crusades. Uh, people began leaving uh, feudal castles for more living space. And as a result, chances for commerce increased while trade was flourishing, and guilds became a more, most important governing body resulting from growth of towns. So you have two major types of guilds. You have the merchant guilds and the craft guilds. The merchant guilds uh, are just exactly what it says. It's an association, and it's regarding merchants, and it regulates town's trade. And it would go as far as outlaw strangers from other towns coming in and selling their goods. So it was almost like, uh, for lack of a better term, a monopoly. Monopoly, like the old game. Okay, So they would have a monopoly on the right to sell within the town borders. And you have craft guilds. So this regulates the trade of particular crafts. It controlled the actual work the artisans produced, and it set standards. And you were uh, taught a craft and by other members of the guild. And so you have a here of the uh, term masterpiece. Well, this is how we got, got the term. So the idea of mastering a trade. So uh, you would begin as a boy, and a contract lasted about seven years, and you would study with the master artisan. And you would, you would gradually work the trade, and as I said, learn the trade, and it would last for about seven years. And then you would become what was called a journeyman. And a journeyman, you would advance to this level of other members of the guild felt you were ready. And then you would uh, very often wander from various places you practice and hone your skills and working for other masters. Uh, in order to become a master, you had to either prepare a specimen called a masterpiece representing quality guild work or to pass an examination. So what this managed to do is it allowed, it set standards for certain things like stonemasons, uh, blacksmiths, that sort of thing. Uh, and it all increases the strength of the commercial sec sector of Europe. Guilds protected the worker, uh, and it also protected the merchants. And that concludes the very quick tutorial on the birth of guilds.